not what we're normal. I would expect a Michael Mayer. I wouldn't have been happy with Mayer. So, you know. It's actually funny. I like Mozzie better than Mayer. You know what I mean? But I like Nolan Smith better than both of them. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. You have... Okay, do we have the best edge rushers? And I mean, of course, Mike is great, but we have a bunch of. I mean, we got Sam Williams that they probably believe in, who's going to be in the second year. You got Dante Fowler that ended Maybe, up having a great season. Look at it this way. You got Dorrance Armstrong, look but at it you this don't way. have enough in the middle. Maybe so they. You, you would rather have a mediocre guy than to have a better player, because he's mediocre, Mark. Okay. He's, he's a regular player, Mark. He's, he's a, a regular. Okay, but a regular player versus what we have typically on our defensive line. We got. Got Mozzie Smith right now, but I mean, again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna super argue against it. But what I'm gonna say is, Mozzie ain't what you're saying he is. I don't know. No, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, he ain't what I, you're I saying know, he is. Uh, but, but then again, then again, was Charles Haley who he became when he was drafted in the fourth round from San Francisco? But Charles is an edge. And that's a premium okay. position. That's a premium position. I understand that. But what I'm saying is sometimes players you don't think are much. Yeah. Or you don't Maybe. think are much. Because we're going by the bullshit that we get from all of the different talking heads no, and all that I'm stuff. You're going by that. I'm okay. going by what I put in. Okay. All right. I'm but what's what in? I put in. Okay. So when everybody talked about Dak Prescott and he ended up being the guy that was I way like down that. the list. I like Dak. I did the homework on Dak. So I like Dak. So... That, I'm not one of those guys. I'm not maybe, okay. maybe they have Parsons. I'm hearing that he's going to play less and less actual linebacker and play more and more edge. Maybe they love Sam Williams, and this is like I the NBA. Like they like them. Maybe they got wiped out. In, they, it the wasn't a first-round grade. Obviously, they, they didn't have. There's something with Joey Porter because he has. But you know, to his point. Tyler was that too. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Tyler was that too. I think the difference between Tyler and him is we didn't know where we were going to put Tyler, and they didn't know until somebody got hurt. Right. With Mozzie, I'm not sure he can I beat out. Gallimore. I'm not sure he can beat out Gallimore and those guys. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's my issue. Nolan Smith. You're, you're probably in the same boat. You're probably in the same boat. Because when they play, but, but Nolan's a better player, though. Uh, when they played uh, Darnell White, Darnell White shut down Nazi Smith in the Michigan game. Washington okay. Shut him down. But that's why he, he went uh, top. Harris, uh, Harris or, or DeJuan Jones. Yeah. yeah. But I okay. Think shut down. All right. So Cowboys Nation apparently is going to go to bed mad tonight. It's okay. I, it's okay. Yeah, it's not exciting. I, I, I played D line. I was a DN. Look. It is great when you have guys up the middle, but if you're lacking in the middle, you can really use someone that, yeah, you can play a linebacker in pass coverage, but if someone's pushing up the middle and he has the speed to shut that gap down, he's a multi-tool. That's what I keep trying. That's what I keep trying to impress on people. See, the thing is, is do you deal with the problem or do you deal with the symptom? The problem is, is you don't have good defensive line play. Yeah. If you're out here saying, I need better linebackers because you don't have a defensive line that's doing what they're supposed to do, you're not treating the problem, you're treating the symptom. And until we treat the problem, and I don't know if, if you're saying that guy is the guy who can be, you know, our Aaron Donald, so to speak, you know, yeah. many. But I'm just saying, what? you need somebody better than what we've had over the years because we ain't stop dick when it comes to the playoffs he's got with the run he's got he's I'm, I'm he's not, got big I'm not time saying traits. he has to replace he's there to replace d-line right. it is hard to replace d-line because they're big yeah. they jam the gaps right but if say you get pass coverage and they do two tight ends a d-line can't cover two tight ends so you lack in the you lack in the linebacker position. What are you gonna do when they rush two tight ends up the middle and across? You know, whereas he can play back, he can play up front. I didn't say he was replacing D line. You can't. But if you have a guy who can occupy two players at the line, okay. If you have a guy who can keep the guard from getting to the linebackers then you're doubling your benefit there, 
Okay, and that's been the problem with us is we don't have those guys that can drop the anchor and hold the line and allow the other guys to be able to scrape and do their jobs. So, oh, where are we? Okay. So Here's the deal. You can tell. I, I want to watch the tape again. It looked like they were on the phone. Maybe they were trying to trade back. You need to have a trade partner. Yeah. And nobody's going to come up, you know, nobody's going to come up for just anybody. You know, it's Bachman a, Taylor. Appreciate it. So I just feel like they're in the same boat. Mozzie and and, 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 and Nolan Smith. Yeah. I feel like they would have been in the same boat. And I just picked a better player. Yeah. Like, if I got them apples to apples, okay, you're going to back up this Let me person, ask you this. And you're coming in as a backup, and you got to win the job. I'm just going to pick the better guy. Let me ask you this. When they uh, – And Nolan no, Nolan sets the edge, and that's probably up? the best thing that he does. Yeah. Who's traded up ahead of us? I, 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 I'd honestly Bills, say he's Bills. better at the run than Mozzie is. Yeah. Yeah. And Mozzie's motor is some trash. Yeah. It, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I, it was an okay pick. Yeah. It was okay. Do you think? I think that, we could have maximized. Do you think it. the Bills took Dallas's pick? Do you, do you think what? Do you think the Bills took Dallas's pick? Do you think they were going Kincaid? Nah, I think when the receivers went off the board, we were screwed. I don't think it was ever tight end. Because so, if it was, we would have got okay. we would have got Mayer. Then that makes me feel better. I, you know, I, I, I think we I think we got wiped out, and they went with, with who they were comfortable with. So Dan really Quinn. So if Dan Quinn, look, if Dan Quinn okayed it. Right. How do you argue? With it? Yeah. Well. But it's not sexy, and it's it's one of those picks where we got to wait now. We could all yeah. have our opinion. No, we got to wait. You know, Mozzie. I'm pretty sure I can find some good things to say. I'm not that's, a that's, I'm not a fan of his motor. Me, man. I'm not a fan of his motor, and I don't think he can come right in and start. I don't. I, I would have rather if if we were gonna do that. Hell, go get Osiris. That's disappointing, man. Or, or That's hell. what I thought, maybe. Or, or John Michael Schmidt. Like, they're in the same ballpark, the and they're going to play. He, so. couldn't, he couldn't beat Osiris. Yeah. Eagles are on the clock. They're, they're, both, okay. they're both good and great players. I, I, I'm going I'm to go through and say that last year, this time, when we picked Tyler Smith, yeah. everybody joked about us saying that he's going to have 50, 50 penalties in the pros right, yeah. and that the Cowboys could have gotten him. I remember Shannon Sharp saying, you could have got him in the second. And maybe in the third round, man. Skip, this is a terrible skip, pick. Skip, 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 skip. This is a terrible pick, right? And guy right. played pretty good, right? Did, it played pretty good, not because of what they planned for. What they planned for was trash. He Eagles just so happened up. to fall into success. Yeah, it wasn't because of them. It wasn't because of the pick. It was because they tried everything not to play him. Yeah, Think about it. They tried Tyler everything. Smith yeah. Yeah, he don't, he don't even play. He, he doesn't even play start. Like and, and Michael Parsons, the year before, if our pass rush doesn't get hurt, he's not who he is. They've lucked okay. up these last few years. Sometimes you get lucky yeah. as opposed to being good. That doesn't mean the pick was good, though. That's all I'm saying. But you picked the player who had ability as opposed to Taco Charlton who just had. I'm saying this is damn near the same thing. Okay. It's damn then, then maybe we get lucky with this one too, yeah. and we find a diamond in the rough. Now, but I guarantee you this: I bet you the Chiefs don't. I bet you the. I bet you the Chiefs don't pick a Mozzie Smith. I bet you they don't. And there's a reason that they go further and we don't. There's a reason. But look, Pat not, Mahomes. <laughs> Chris Jones. But, they, I mean, defensively, they got Karlaftis last year when everybody passed on him. Karlaftis had an excellent year this year and got a Super Bowl ring. Everybody, I don't know, like, the Chiefs don't miss those guys. And you saw the Ravens. The Ravens don't either, even though they haven't won anything. They went out and got okay. Zay Flowers. But you act like we miss on everybody. We've gotten some pretty good players out here. I'm saying we don't maximize it. Like, maximizing it might take us over. Right. Like, if you're okay with losing where we are, that's fine. But we, if we maximize, we might go further. 
All right, I'm going to still be the glass half full guy, okay? <laughs> Even though you guys are just killing them. I'm going to say that at least the Dallas Cowboys are trying something different. Because when was the last time the Dallas Cowboys said, you know what, our defensive line needs help? Yeah, they've done it every year, Mark. They drafted No, 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 no. Yes, they, they have. They've thrown bodies at it. They, they throw bodies at yeah, it. Okay, throw throwing body bodies and throwing at least decent bodies are two different things. How do you – you said you haven't watched him. How do you know he's decent? Okay, I'm just saying, if they – if the Cowboys, who in the first round have better success than just about anybody, it's them and the 49ers between 2012 and now with nine all-pro seasons out of their first-round picks. They've done something right. Okay. Okay? Getting Quentin Ballamore in the sixth round – Okay, a guy who typically you don't look at and say is going to be a game changer. At least this guy is a first or second round talent. That is more second round. Talent. Okay, that's still far and away. When they took Ridgeway in the fifth round last year, I was like, shit, we don't do that. We don't, normally we will say a defensive end can play tackle. You take guys like Tyrone Crawford and say, he's a tweener, he's a tackle. We'll play him a tackle because they don't value defensive linemen at all. And they figure, well, if you're a tackle, you can play interior tackle. They're not the same position. You know from playing on the defensive line, a nose tackle is not like a regular tackle. You got to have your head on a swivel. You are getting hit from the guard, the center, the other guard. Yeah. You're getting hit by the fullback. You're getting hit by a wham block from the tight yeah. end. You're getting influence blocked by the tight ends on yeah. both sides. You are getting there physically abused every single play, and you have to have your head on a swivel. Right. When you're a defensive tackle out there, everything is pretty much coming from your inside on there. Yeah, and you're your not getting that hit pressure. And your DNs are pushing them into you. Right. It's totally different, and we never have that guy in the middle. Yeah. And every single time, and I'm going to tell you, you one of the way we, we did it last year, and you said, but then you said <laughs> you don't do it. No, I said <laughs> Ridgeway was good, and we didn't keep him. Because, we didn't keep him. Right. We yeah, didn't what, give him a what, chance what, to really what do. What he had was an attitude. Right, which is what you have to have in there. Yeah. And I'm going to say there was a really smart guy. A, a, a wise mother humper who once said to me, when you control the middle of the field, you control the damn field. Yeah. And when the hell have we ever controlled the middle of the field? So that that being said, yeah. with are you going to say that guy was an idiot? No, I'm not going to say that, but, uh, but yeah. the same guy is telling you this ain't the dude. This ain't the impact player, Mark. Okay. It's not. Right. It's not. But it may not have to be an impact. It's got to be better than what we had. Hankins was good. We got him in the middle of the season. Yeah. He got I, injured. I mean, he's and okay. Years old too. Right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, it's Hankins was an improvement like, over what we've had. Well, I thought Gallimore was going to be that guy. But, he, you know, after he hyperextended his elbow, he was yeah, never the same. same. 